Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Chosen ones, empaths. In the narcissistic community, you'll hear that some people say narcissists do love and others that don't. But really, this boils down to um, the narcissists involved in your life, you know. When they first come across you, they did love you. Not a healthy love. More of an obsessive kind. A weird love. Not a healthy love that you deserve. But it is love nonetheless in their own warped, twisted reality that they live in. A really messed up kind of love, you know. I did have some notes for this uh, video. Um, what you've got to understand is the meaning of love to them isn't the same, you know? You as survivors of narcissistic abuse have to realise that the narcissists involved in your life are not devoid of emotions. They do have emotions. It's just their motives and intentions are corrupted or deranged, really, right? Also... The narcissists involved in your life, they love the supply they get from the target. So this all boils down to love, right? Like I said, it's unhealthy, it's weird, it's twisted, it's deranged. It's not the love you deserve, right? But you, um, you know, when the narcissist involved in your life loves the victim, the love is not healthy or good, it's toxic and harmful, right? And the narcissist does think the love, they love the target in their own mind, heart and soul. It's more that they don't understand that their version of love is not normal, nor do they care as long as they get supply, right? So in their own minds, they think they love you. They, they don't have the comprehension to realise that they, that they don't actually love you in the correct way you see but what you've got to take into an account is um <clears throat> these narcissists involved in your life they love your supply that's that's what it boils down to as well they love your supply source they love what energy you give them they love all of that right so I don't want any of you coming out of these narcissistic encounters with the narcissist involved in your life and thinking, was the whole thing a lie? Did they not love you? They did. They, they loved you to the best of their ability, right? And it's strange. It's bizarre. It's weird. And it's not what you deserve. You deserve so, so much better, right? So you don't need to worry, right? You don't need to worry about is the narcissist involved in your life? Did they love you? Was the whole thing a lie? You know, like, even when they're loving you at the initial period during the love bomb, for instance, um, they're showing you that version of themselves to get a reaction from you. Everything comes down to trying to spark a reaction from you. So they're offering you that the best version of themselves, so to speak. So your guard comes down, so you open up, right? It's not, but they, they're obsessed with you at that point. They are absolutely obsessed with you at that point, you know? But through the course of time, it gets more and more weird, you know? Their obsession starts to change. As much as I spoke about they love supply from you, they also love negative supply from you. It's still love, you know, and this negative supply could involve hurting your feelings, making you upset, you know, but it's still coming from their warped version of love, you know, them hurting you, them, they love to do that, they love to do this to you, you see, the word love is always present. So don't believe 
because I've seen some of the videos. I'm not knocking any other videos. They've got their own reasons why they're trying to inform you that way. But it leaves you feeling cold, you know, because there's nothing worse than a victim of narcissistic abuse coming out of a narcissistic relationship and thinking the whole thing was a lie. They are liars. The whole thing is fake and stuff. Yeah. But it's in their own minds. They think they're loving you, you know. They think they're loving you. Look, for instance, um, let me bring up a scenario. Um, narcissists often will cling to your possessions. So after you go east, they go west. Narcissists involved in your life will often keep trinkets of you. It could be, it could be anything. It could be clothes. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. But they'll, they'll cling to that possession so they feel like they've still got a connection with you of some sort, you know? Um, them spying on you, for instance, these narcissists involved in your life, them spying on you, whether it's online or physically spying on you, stalking you or whatnot, they, they in their own minds feel like they, they've got some form of connection with you. They always feel that there's some sort of connection. Even if you've told them you want nothing more to do with them, you don't want to speak to them, you've door slam bolted and welded it shut, this narcissist will always feel a connection with you. Now that's coming from their warped version of love, right? Please don't let any of what I'm telling you in this video make you misconstrue what I'm saying like they love you like a healthy person should do, you know? They don't love you like a healthy person should do. Like a healthy relationship with love. They don't love you in that way. They love you in a weird, messed up, deranged, dusty weirdo sort of way. Right? That's how they love you. Let me just have a sip of my coffee. But the question always does arise, do narcissists love? And you need to understand that they do. They are obsessed with you or they were obsessed with you. And you may not have spoken to them in a long period of time now or had no affiliation to do with them. And you're scratching your head thinking, wow, was the whole thing a lie? Um, they, they don't get over you, you know, they will always remain obsessed with you. Even if they're doing that in secret and it's just them, you know, maybe not physically stalking, but them spying on your social media or making fake fake profiles to contact you or something like that. They like to keep the connection there because they can never let go. You know, they can never they can never honestly let go. So you don't I just I, I don't want any of you coming out of the situation like what you got to understand is you I don't want you coming out of the situation with this narcissist involved in your life thinking that they hated you, um, their actions of love might be perceived, can be perceived as hate or disgust or pain, you know, but it's actually coming from their messed up version of love. They don't know how to love sincerely, you know, love for the other, love for the other, you know, like, not love, like, as well, they love you from what they can gain for you, from you. And not even uh, many, many, many relationships, not even narcissistic relationships have that kind of mind state, you know, where they get involved in relationships for what the other person can give them in life, you know. And really, it's about love for the other. And it reminds me of a, uh, a rabbi. Um, I've mentioned this before, but he saw a young boy and he said, boy, why are you, um, why are you, boy, why, why are you eating, why are you eating that, why are you eating that fish? And the young boy replied, I love eating fish. And he, and then the rabbi said to him, you don't love the fish. You took the fish out of the water, you boiled it, you cooked it. And you ate it. You love what it does for yourself. You don't love the fish. 
And to understand what he was trying to say, and I'll just elaborate a bit more, is that's love for self. You see, the analogy there of the boy cooking the fish, eating the fish, tasting the fish, that's love for the self. He loves the fish because what it does for himself. And that's like how the narcissist loves you. They love what you provide them for themselves, the supply, all of that. But real genuine love is love for the other. You know, you're not going into it with intentions of gaining something from them, whether it's gaining status or gaining finances or gaining whatever it could possibly be that you could gain from a relationship. You're not actually you're not actually getting involved with this person from what you can gain. You're 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 merely connecting with another individual in a romantic sense because you love them. You love them for them. You know they're not perfect, but you love them wholeheartedly for, for them being them. And you're not actually trying to obtain anything from them. You're not trying to gain anything from them. You just want to connect and be in a unity, you know, with with your spouse or your partner or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You want to you want to be in it in it in, in unity with them. And you love them, you, it's love for the other. So the things that you do for them, by the best of your abilities, the things that you do, you don't do these things so you get something back. It's not bargaining, right? Like the narcissist will do things to you so they can get something back from you. That's not how real genuine love is. You do things so... Um, you, 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 you give freely from your heart out of love. You're not expecting anything in return, you know. And that's a real sincere kind of love that you can find. So you don't need to be distraught about this narcissist that was involved in your life, whether they loved you correctly, whether they didn't. What you need to know is they did love you. It's a messed up kind of love and you need to stay the hell away from them. You don't need that type of love around you. You really don't need that type of love around you because it can get messed up. It can get bizarre. It can become extremely, extremely weird. What you need to find is someone genuine where you have sincere love for the other person and they have sincere love for you. Reciprocity. Mutual benefit. And not mutual benefit in, in the ways like I'm saying, for example, um, bargaining. Like you're doing something for them, so they do something for you. No, it should be that you're you're you just you you want to make them happy, or you want to make them feel good, or you or you want to make them you know, and you're not expecting anything in return. You you just try the best by your abilities, you know, by by what you have in your life, you know, to be able to give your love, you know, giving your love to someone sincerely, and you've done it. The fact of the matter is you've already done this. What I'm talking about, you've already done this, but it was one-sided. You've given your love. You loved for you 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 didn't love for yourself. You weren't involved with this narcissist for yourself. You didn't have selfish agendas. You didn't have motives. You you sincerely loved from your side and the only problem that you faced is they didn't sincerely love you back in that way in a genuine healthy type of love. They loved you for motives, for what they could get back from you, for the supply they loved to extract from you. That's what they liked to do, right? So just understand, um, wherever you are at on your journey, you can find a genuine type of love, a sincere type of love, the love for the other. Remember the analogy that I used with the fish? You know, that's the narcissist. You know, the boy doesn't love the fish. He loves the he he loves what it does for himself. He took the water, he took the fish out of the water, cooked it, boiled it, ate it. He loves what it does for himself, and that's the type of love that you have with a narcissist. So, to anyone that tells you that narcissists don't love, I believe they're wrong. If you don't agree with this video, you know, put it in the comment section. Um, you know. If you, don't, if you don't agree with, with, with the analysis of this video, put it in the comment section. Each one, teach one. We can all learn things. Um, but honestly speaking, there is there is a, 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 a part of love 
in them it's just extremely messed up and extremely bizarre so i hope this video helps and if you would like to know more about are they really a narcissist click this video here so anyway we'll be back on our video soon peace